Okay guys, so now we will reconcile our profit. So we've solved one question on marginal and absorption income statement. Now we'll understand that why do profits differ? So if you guys look at question one again, what you'll see is that the profit for that same company, same data is different under marginal costing approach and is different under absorption costing approach. So our job over here is to investigate the difference between the marginal profit versus the absorption profit. Why do these two profits differ? All right, so our answer or the difference lies in inventory valuation. So we can say that you can attribute the difference in profit to inventory valuation. That is how is inventory valued under marginal costing versus how is inventory valued under absorption costing. All right, so let me write this down again if you remember the marginal cost of a unit, the marginal cost of a unit was made up of variable manufacturing costs that is direct material, direct labor, direct expense and variable production overhead. All right. That's the marginal cost of a unit. Whereas the absorption cost of a unit deferred by the marginal cost by one component. It was the marginal cost plus fixed production over it. That's one additional cost that is included under absorption costing, which is not included under marginal costing. So I can say that the difference in inventory valuation between marginal and absorption costing will be between the fixed production over it. So absorption inventory should always be greater than marginal uh, inventory and the difference should be between fixed production overhead. So I can say that the absorption inventory at any point will be greater than the marginal inventory and this difference is due to the fixed production overhead. Now what impact does this create on the profit? So we can say this, that higher the closing inventory, higher the profit. So if your closing inventory is higher, it will also increase your profits and the reason is you can subtract a bigger portion from the cost. So the cost of goods sold should go down and your profit should increase. So higher the closing inventory, higher the profit. You can also say closing inventory has a direct relationship with profit, but higher the opening inventory, lower the profit. So opening inventory will have an inverse impact on profit. And the reason is that when a higher cost inventory is included in your cost of production, that will also include your cost of production to increase, but it will also decrease your profits. All right. So that's the relationship of closing inventory with profit and the relationship of opening inventory with profit. So what we can understand using this is that if your closing inventory is higher, your profit will be higher. But if your opening inventory is higher, your profit will be lower. Now using this analysis, now let's reconcile the profit for marginal and absorption costing. I will reconcile it for question one only and we'll draw a simple statement. Okay. So we'll draw a reconciliation statement looking something like this. Uh, we're doing this for the year 2006. I'll go back to the answers. But before that, please draw a statement. You can write the marginal profit. We'll start off with the marginal profit. We will add the difference in closing inventory because remember higher the closing inventory, higher the profit. So absorption profit should be higher by the additional amount of closing inventory and less difference in opening inventory because opening inventory would reduce your profit. So remember absorption opening inventory will also be greater that will reduce your profit and I should arrive at my absorption profit. All right. So let's go back to our answers for 2006 comparing marginal and absorption income statement. Okay. So if you guys remember, this was our marginal income statement, our profit, for 2006 was 14,000. I want you guys to know this number. Now, as for inventory valuation, there was no opening inventory, so nothing to look over here, but the marginal closing inventory was 16,000. All right. So I want you guys to remember this figure. Now let's look at absorption income statement. Okay. Now, if we look at the absorption income statement, our profit under absorption was 22,000. Again, opening inventory is zero, but the absorption closing inventory is 24,000. Remember I said that the absorption closing inventory or the absorption opening inventory should always be greater than the marginal one because it includes fixed production over it. All right. Now, once we have these numbers, let's reconcile your statement. 
Okay, now let's draw your reconciliation statement over here. Remember the marginal profit was 14,000. We can write that down over here. The difference in closing inventory. Now, the absorption closing inventory was 24,000. Marginal was 16. So, absorption closing inventory was greater by $8,000. All right, so I can add 8,000 over here because remember, closing inventory should increase profit. The difference in opening inventory is zero because there is no opening inventory. So if you guys see, you will arrive at your absorption profit that is 22,000. So what you can say is the difference between the marginal profit and the absorption profit is this closing inventory figure because absorption closing inventory includes the fixed production overhead which was not included in your marginal closing inventory. You guys can also look at this 8,000 number as 4 was your fixed production overhead per unit multiplied by 2,000 units were there in your closing inventory. So you will arrive at $8,000. So that's how you reconcile your profits. I would also ask you guys to reconcile the profits for 2007 similarly and you should arrive at the absorption profit.